I'm Sarah King Cole. I'm the marketing manager here at Brit Festivals, and today we're going to take you on a tour of Brit. Every year we try to find a good mix of all sorts of concerts that we can bring in. Of course, we have our three week classical festival, which happens every year. We bring in an orchestra from across the country. And then, in addition to that, we try to bring a lineup in of pop and rock and jazz and country and folk music. So, there's a little bit of something for everybody. Our capacity at Brit's about 2,200. We have about a little over 600 seats in reserve seating and the rest on lawn seating. Brit started in 1963 and they performed on a plywood stage that they would come in and construct every year. Um, and they strung tin can lights out of big coffee cans that lights were screwed into that. It was very makeshift, very temporary. In the late 70s we built this stage which allowed us to bring in a whole array of music. Now we can have electronic equipment. There's different requirements for every act that comes in. Some tours bring their own lighting and sound people with them. Some people rely on our lighting and sound people. And then there's just different rigs depending on the artist. So there is a definitely a setup and tear down that happens every night. Here at the top of the hill, the picnic tables. Of course, bringing your picnic and your wine and beer and is a really big part of the Brit experience. We have this beautiful spot where you've got ponderosa trees and you've got the stars overhead. Some nights you can hear the crickets chirping and you've got these world-class artists down on the stage. So it's this perfect blend of intimate atmosphere and world-class music. This is a production office. This is basically where all the fun happens during the day. It's more or less command central, you know, where we kind of figure out the day schedule, times, uh, you know, logistics, getting people from hotels or from airports back here for sound check. Alan Billy, TV production manager. My favorite thing is just I, I, the people we work with. You know, I think that makes it really worthwhile. A lot of the mundane office stuff that goes on beforehand, we make up for it on show days. It's kind of a common goal for all of us to get the shows together successfully and make sure our patrons are having a great time also. Well, my name is Wayne Zenkamp. This is my first season as stage manager here at the Brit. I've worked with a lot of crews prior to coming here, and I have to say that the crew here at the Brit is the best crew I've ever worked with, ever. This is a community-supported venue. It's, it's staffed almost, at, what do you say, 90% by volunteers. So everybody here in the community and the surrounding community all come together to make this possible. George Rellis, and I've been doing the Brit since 1980. I'm an independent contractor and based out of Eugene. It's the best venue in the Northwest. Obviously, it's beautiful. But the way the stage is set at the base of the hill and the artist is right on the ground, there's a connection that the artist makes with the audience. There's really not a bad seat in the house because you can always get a pretty close up view of the artist. And the intimacy uh, that the artist gets with the audience that you just don't get. It's a very special place. You have to come out and see it and feel it. Once you come, you're gonna be hooked and you're gonna wanna come back every time. I would say this is probably the best kept secret around. It's a venue where you get an experience that you don't get any, any other place. It, it's sort of an anachronism. It's the way things used to be as opposed to the way most venues are today. People talk about the Zen experience that they get at Brit. It's kind of a magical place. You come up here and it's a very relaxing place. There's, in my opinion, no better place to see live music. 